hello and welcome back my fearless and flawless friends today i am actually going to be cooking dinner for you guys that is the oven we have already preheated it to 350 degrees fahrenheit you will need a large pot skillet pot whatever you want to use um, and you are going to want a casserole dish like a pyrex dish or an oven safe dish that you can put into the oven so i am actually going to be making an amish country casserole um, it serves about six to eight people, sometimes more depending on your serving size, sometimes less depending on your serving size. So you're going to need um, whatever kind of pasta you want to use. I'm going to be using a gluten-free pasta, um, about a pound of ground beef, but I have an intolerance to beef, so I'm using ground turkey. Um, you will use a can of tomato soup. I have here the Progresso Creamy Tomato with Basil Soup. You are going to want a cream of mushroom or a cream of chicken. I have a gluten-free cream of chicken right here. And then you're going to want some milk, some paprika, and some dried parsley. So let's go ahead and get our pasta. Let's go ahead and get it boiling. And then we're going to go ahead and throw our ground turkey into the pot and go ahead and cook that to brown. All right, so we do have our water boiling. We're going to let that boil. I have decided on the bow tie pasta or barfle. Bar fly. I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, bow tie pasta. We're going to go with it. I already have my ground turkey over here. I'm going to throw in a little bit of garlic powder. I say a little bit. We're just going to dump it on in there. Some onion powder. Now, if you have some onion, you can chop it up, throw it in there. Or some um, minced garlic, you can also throw that in there. And then we're just going to chop that up. It would really help if we turn the burner on to get it cooking. Um, so make sure to do that. And I am using a deeper pan. So instead of transferring the ground beef to a separate pot to put everything into, because it does say that once you're done with your, your pasta, once it's boiled, to drain that and then put it back into the pot. But I'm going to put everything into this big skillet pot pan, or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to mix it all together and then throw it into the casserole dish. So we are going to just let this cook, just chop it up enough. We're going to let this cook, get brown. Okay. We're going to let that brown up and then we will be right back. All right, you can see that we are boiling here, so we're going to go ahead and I did add just a little bit of olive oil to the water so that way the gluten-free noodles do not stick together. And I'm just going to throw in whatever is left in the box into the water there. And then we're going to make sure that the pasta is not sticking to itself. And we'll let that boil until that is al dente and then we will go ahead and drain that so we're just gonna let it sit let it boil cook up while we're still cooking our brown ground turkey not our brown turkey but our ground turkey we're hoping it'll get brown soon all right so our meat is pretty brown temperature just a little bit there you have it nice and brown ground turkey over here our pasta is boiling still almost done and then we'll drain that and put it into the ground turkey all right while we're waiting for the pasta to finish boiling yeah. we are going to add in our tomato soup And then our cream of chicken. Again, you can add cream of mushroom, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, whatever you want to add. This is cream of chicken. It is gluten-free. So we're going to add that on in there. Give that a good mix. Yeah. 
pan, we turn down the burner so that way we don't have pasta, or not pasta sauce, but tomato sauce popping up at us. Let's check our pasta over here. That is pretty, pretty done. So we're gonna go ahead and drain this and transfer it over to the ground turkey. All right, so we have drained our pasta. Just gonna throw it on in there. We then have a cup of milk we're going to add as well. Again, give that a good mix. Then we are going to add in some paprika. It says about half a teaspoon. I just sprinkle it in there. I don't really measure as well as half a teaspoon of dried parsley. But again, I just sprinkle it on in there. I don't really measure. And then we're gonna add in some salt and pepper. So we have our black pepper. Sprinkle that on in there. Try not to sneeze. And we have our all natural Himalayan pink salt. You can use table salt, perfectly fine. Again, just sprinkle that on in there. Mix it on up. And then we are going to actually spray our casserole dish right here. We're gonna spray it down with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. Okay, there we go. We have sprayed our dish. Now we are going to transfer all of this into this dish and we are going to bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes. Carefully transfer it over. All right, now we're going to open up the oven, which is going to be hot because it is already preheated to 350 degrees. And we will put our casserole dish in there. Please. All right, this is a little backwards for you, but we're gonna go ahead and just hit kitchen timer. We're gonna put it on for 25 minutes and start. Now you can sit back, relax, and wait for your timer to beep, and it'll be dinner time. All right, so we only have about six and a half minutes left on our dish. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. You already see I have some bowls over here. I'm going to pull it out. Um, that way I can go ahead and let some food cool off. So that way the, the kids' food can cool off a little bit. So here it is. <clears throat> you can see it all bubbly. You can always add some cheese to it if you want. Um, I'm going to just put some in a dish. You can use a slotted spoon or you can keep some of that creamy goodness in there. Okay. Now we're going to put it back in there for the remainder of the time. And then we have this here. And this one. And then I have some Parmesan that I'm going to add to it. 
sprinkle it there on the top. And we're gonna let that cool down while the, the remainder of the time the dish is in the oven. And then we'll take it out and we will serve it. All right, and there you have it. It is done. We are not going to touch it except with the, the pot holders here. We're going to go ahead and transfer it over to the table and go ahead and serve it. And I will definitely share the ingredients and the recipe with you guys so you can cook it yourself. If you do, definitely tag me in it. Let me know how it went. And I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow. Hit that bell to be notified Dodge. when a new video uploads. Dodge. And definitely give Dodge. it a thumbs up if you enjoyed Dodge. this. Dodge. Enjoy your meals.